Okay, hello folks. Today I'm going to be doing a demo on sequencing AC props with x lights. Um, just a little bit about me. My name is Ryan Marshall. I am 15 years old. Uh, I live in Oxford, Michigan. I've been in the hobby for about seven years now. Uh, I've used x lights for three of those years. And we started a LOR show back in 2014, and that's what we still currently use, even though we have revamped most of our stuff to something a little bit newer, if that is pixels or standard LED lights. Uh, just the overview of what we're going to be talking about, uh, just basic work. Can you buy LOR controllers or letter ammo controllers for the people new in the hobby? Um, setting up AC controllers and ass assigning their IDs, um, adding channels to your list on X lights, getting the channel set up, um, making converting your pixel strings, your default pixel strings that you would import into um, X lights. It would be a pixel string, converting that over to an AC string so it's only one channel instead of hundreds of channels. And then just basic sequencing the AC props. Um, so for for the setup and everything going on, I just figure it's best to do it in X lights and just show you firsthand what it's like to do it. So some common questions are: How do I set it up? How do I set up lower controllers via Falcon? Um, and then another one is less common, but it's still asked. How do I set up lower controllers via USB dongle that uh, the later gamma USB uh, 485 serial dongle from your computer? So we're actually going to dive into that right now. So as you see, here's your setup tab. Um, I've gone ahead and I've set up two different networks or two different instances, if you will, of how you could set up a lower controller. The first way and the most common way of setting it up is via um, your serial outputs of your Falcon controller, which what I've gone and done here is I've put in the IP address of my Falcon because I run all unicast, all my controllers, um, and I have it set up so that there is 32, I have 32 channel, um, 32 channels on this universe because for instance let's say we have we'll have two two lore boxes daisy chained in this instance um so i've gone ahead and set up the vendor and stuff so it brings everything in correctly the other way of doing it is by your serial um serial dongle your um Later, I'm a USB 485 dongle from your computer which uses a com port which this you will actually need to go on to your computer and go to, you go to um, Windows Explorer or File Explorer and you come down to your um, your C drive and you go down to um, all right not my bad go to my this PC and then down to manage and it'll actually pop up you go down to device manager and it'll actually give you on your COM port here, it'll show you which one it's plugged into, which in my case, I don't have it plugged in. So this is just my basic COM port. Most common when you first plug it in and configure it for the first time, it'll put it on COM port three. So you want to go down to COM port three and select that one. Um, we could just go ahead and save for my case. But, um, and then your speed, it defaults to the speed right here, which seems to be the most reliable for this stuff. Um, Diving into the net or the layout side of it, um, the most common questions are which props do I use? Um, what color do I use for my single color strain? And is um, to set up pixel strand, if you set it up as an AC strand, what do I what do I do? And then how do I get the channel set correctly? Oh my bad. It's set up as a pixel strand. What do I do? So let's we'll go through that too. So in here I've just added two of the most common props I'd say you'd see on a show, regardless if it's AC or um a pixel show. So with the arches, I've actually put these on channels one through sixteen. 
and those will pull off the serial dongle where the Falcon does the other from channel 17 to 48. So the arch, these first two arches, I have them set. They're eight channels a piece and there's two of them. So it makes 16. And then the mega tree, I have 32 strings of them. And there's, well, if we're doing AC lights, let's say there's a hundred going up. Um, and each one's a different output and everyone's a separate output. There's no up and down. Um, but to set up, but to set them up as an a uh, to an as an AC strand instead of a pixel strand, you get on the string properties, and then when you're on string type, this will default to, um, this will default up here to RGB nodes. Um, what you want to do is you want to go down to single color, and then for my instance, we'll just say my mega tree is white. But if you have, you know, a red mega tree or a green mega tree, you could select those. But in my case, it's going to be white. Same thing with the arches. You go down here and you switch this to solid, single color, and then most arches are white unless you have, you know, red arches or green arches, or maybe you even have them striped red and red and uh, white. In that case, you're just going to want to leave them white because there's as at the moment, I don't believe there is something in here that you can make one section red and one section white in the same arch. Um, but that's setting up that if we're doing, let's say we're bringing out a brand new model, just for instance, so here's a fresh mega tree, right? If you just pull it from here, what you're going to want to do is obviously set this up. So we're going to say it's on universe number two, start channel one which this one will overlap this one. Now I come down here, see how it says RGB nodes. Double click on that, we'll go to single color. We'll change it, let's do green instead this time. And okay. Now here's where the critical part comes in. You gotta really pay attention to this part. Let's say this tree has 20 strings and it has 25 lights all together on the entire tree and going up. We'll say it's a small tree. Heck, we can even say it's a spiral tree. We'll put a couple spirals on it. If it'll, let me, let's say it's a spiral tree. It looks like that. And if it's a spiral tree, we're going to, have to do at least 50 to make it look correct. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, it should register it as 20 single color outputs. So there's only 20 outputs. See, it starts on um, start channel one and ends on 20. So that's exactly what we want. So now your layout tab is done. Now let's go starting with the sequencer tab. Um, I'm gonna go over the AC light toolbar. That kind of gets blown over half the time because people don't really use it as much as probably it should be used, but it's great for just standard AC props. You can use regular X lights effects on AC props and just make them one color, but the AC light toolbar is great if you're just turning them on and off, you're shimmering, you're twinkling, etc. Anything that you can get away with in the LOR, you can you could pretty much pull off in X lights as well. So let's go to a sequencer and we'll just do a, um, a new animation sequence and quick start. Um, so for the arches, I actually don't like using the AC toolbar, which is the AC toolbar is up here. You have to click on the AC and now you can actually make different changes. So now if we set this to on and we'll do a fade down, if we click on the tree and we can drag, I think it's, uh, I think it's, um, if I do this a hundred to zero, let's have to do that on an individual level. Hmm. That's interesting.
Oh, well, we'll come back to that. Um, but for arches, I like to use a single strand effect and just make them an AC arch. So we're going to go over here and we'll make them white. And then we will extend the speed. And you should have the speed how you want them. And then you can hit you can do the 3D fade. And then you can do double. And then you can actually group all the arches. So make some look real and you can just you can just you can bounce them let's say uh for this instance we'll just say they're doing that um but that's that one you can do some cool stuff with the mega tree too you can i like to do the double spin with it instead of a single spin like this just because it pauses you could do a double spin like that um you can also do a bars effect with it if you just have one color Kind of hard to see it. We'll pull up this here. And you can see the spiral tree is actually going to because I have it on the same channels as the mega tree is. Um, if I pull that off to the side and I actually put this on the spiral tree, you will see that it's now just the spiral tree, but the other tree will still be going because I have it on the same channels. Um, back to that AC toolbar. I think, I'm not quite sure why it was acting up on me here. If I go down, oh, here we go. There we go, I forgot I gotta add timings. You can make it flash all cool colors here. Let's do, so now it's, you can see you can do really long fades. You can uh, you can shimmer it. Yep, stroke time. Um, you can do twinkle, which I think is actually a really cool feature. And it does something a little bit different than you're not used to. Uh, you can actually make that just an intensity. It's bright. I uh, can get a paint bucket, which should fill it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working right anymore. And you could do, um, oh, the cascade. You should be able to, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. You can, if you have a, um, let's do this. Let's get rid of all these. And then we will pick this, and then we'll, we'll pick the cascade so that it cascades it like so. And then when you play that back, you should get a nice, um, yeah, an actual spiral effect. But let's actually speed that up because that actually looks very boring. Um, off, turn that off, do this, we'll hold. Actually, we'll just do this. I'm gonna have a timing block and we'll just we'll get rid of that. Now I'll go back to cascade and we will cascade this down all 20 of them. Now this should go a lot faster. So that's just some basic AC toolbar things you can do. You can get away with a lot more um, if you really you really, really try and give it effort. Um, in my full demonstration on my demo night, I will have a whole controller set up ready to go and showing you how to set it up and how to get it fully running. But other than that, um, thank you for watching.